No. You should. Uh, eh, it's get a bit risky, but we do have cafe at the start. We'll off with cafe and then we're through. Into Oregon, Big surprise there. So they've got Oregon through. Sight. Capito, he has a crossbow with a fire arrow and a smoke arrow choice, which he can flip between. I think he's got two of each. Um, so he Down is on the ground. That could actually come in the form of Panico. If he's not able to adjust, though, it could go sour for him. Pushed on the stairway. And Down slain. the top floor control because you can see now pressure is going to be applied from that top balcony. And what a lot of pressure it is coming in from Psycho. Beautiful headshot. Down onto Guy. Finished off by Muzi. And that is a perfect round. Julio never finished off he was down but not out on the valkyrie but it didn't matter because nip they locked that one down Natural. it will be detonated padrin manages to dip away he comes back and he tries again julio has no nitro now he has to win the gunfight that's exactly what he does onto freeze out but they can't stop the diffuser going down padrin is killed seconds after he successfully gets that diffuser activated and we've got a nice double team now and coming the in. reinforcement heads up play from psycho to win round number two one what a great retake from NIP. Talking about oh. Julio on the clash. Although, when it comes down to a clash early on, Tim. No meaningful map control here, Jackie. They've got no way of aggressing onto site. <laughs> and this? Panico has got even less this of a chance. Is, this is just ridiculous. They're mopping them up like a spilt drink. How are they hitting all of these shots, Tim? Muzi. Defense. Pushing in. Swinging. Absolutely giving it with every opportunity to do so. Now they're just getting wild for the sake of it. The clash will push in through the doorway. Yeah, he'll get one frag. Uh, he could be good for a couple of frags here. How on earth has he lost that encounter? His head gets picked off. Panico gets the double down onto Julio as well, but there's trades galore as Muzi running straight. They need to challenge that single door at the same time as this one comes through, but Pino, his attention was Kamikaze for the time being. He's going to have to allow him. He takes the fight onto Gee, who's dropped utility. Gee closes it out, and that is another round for W7M. Two in a row on reading, and they are fighting their way back into this against NIP. 3-2 on the score. They scoreboard. need to push. If they want to get themselves this 3-3 split, they need to gun for it, but they're being gunned down. Now, and this guns is really... them back and gives them a few seconds to plant, but that's all you've got. You have to get the diffuser down or the round is gone. They're going to swing onto him with the revolver. And in the end, we do see it. This is very reminiscent of a side from NIP that fails in the last few seconds. But Psycho and Julio, they managed to hit the aggression there and get in and get themselves a couple of kills. Pino joins the party. Kamikaze's getting the diffuser down. And that was a great late round push. I was just concerned with 10 seconds left to go that NIP had left things a bit too late with it five versus five on the scoreboard. But they position There's themselves going to be sitting. Padrin is down right now. Guy dares not pick him up. He knew that Muzi was pushing on the white stairs. 15 seconds. you got to go for this. They jump out. They do something audacious. There is a trade, but now they're a massive NIP from a great opener. It all falls to pieces. W7M have fought fantastically well there. He's having a real struggle in the early rounds, keeping himself involved. Pino gets himself a second onto her. Back up. We'll sprint in, and that's all they've done. They have windmilled their way through the rounds. And like a revolving door, they come in and walk their way out with a perfect round to give themselves six on the board here on Cafe Tim. One more. There's a man behind the deployable shield just outside of VIP, but they've absolutely no method of clearing him out now. Herds, he hit down Guy. Will trade it out though. So once again, W7M keeping themselves in this cycle. He moves in with one of his own, and this could be oh. dangerous. Muzi. W7M after such a good round, Muzi. Oh able to shut it down. He has to withstand here, Zofia. I don't know exactly what Psycho was doing there. He maybe Down forgot to a coffin. He... Pino actually adjusts. He's ready with the pre-fire, Tim. He kills the Valkyrie he as well. He is pressuring Washroom at this point. We can see there the man goes down as Pino gets the kill. Showing why they previously had a 100% win rate. The Monty came in. Ooh. He has been the difference maker. Kamikaze is the one to push it over the line. But you knew that somebody on the side of NIP was going to do it. W7M just seemed to lost. All competition. Nearly reverse sweep that came out from W7M, Tim. Fair play to them. They showed a lot of consistency, a lot of confidence to bring uh, that Sort back. of a fairly default game of Oregon, Jackie. Well, we are. We are. I love a bit of Oregon, though, mate. Right, through yeah. that rotation. Now, that's an opener for Pino once again. On to Freezer. On to those Freezer stairs. Quite often, we'll see the smoke play up there with the shotgun. Now, that's a good kill from the Pino. wall into the closet, but they are simply exploratory at this point. Absolutely no certainty that there is a man Gun located. Down, slayed out on the ground, and it's all on Guy. 
He's not going to be saying GG for that fight, though. With the NIP wave. That would do some damage. And here you go. Moosey's the one surfing. Julio knows that the aggression is going to come. He's got to be careful because he's got the laser sight on. It makes absolutely no difference whether Padrin knows he's coming or not. He gets put down along with the remaining two members. Herds and Guy also shut down at the end of the round. Psycho with a great... Forward links back up with the rest of the squad, though, so they can play together. But oh. the issue is you're down on the ground and you're going to be left there. Because of it, there's been nothing back from w7m finally they get themselves some aggression that works out dropping well, down you can see just waiting it out but ultimately it's kamikaze to shut down the ash there goes psycho kamikaze with a second and nip they had that one in the palm of their hands all the way through despite that mid-round fight back from w7m Smoke canisters he's got two left in reserve oh no it it's won't matter anyone getting back on to pick up the diffuser they wide swing onto herds by the stairway and leave him snoozing there is a bite back as oh, panic slays julio two versus three left with 40 seconds on the clock but moosey he doesn't need an uzi his revolver's the only thing that this man needs tim Murder and mayhem manifested in the map by Moosey there to close out round number six. Round number five Quickly right here. He's got support and this could well catch uh -oh. NIP on the hop and kills start to rain in. But once again, Jackie, Two NIP... versus three. The psycho joins the party but shut down very quickly after unable to make any effect once he was picked up. And that's going to be W7M. They're not being whitewashed today. One round back in the... I think NIP can find rounds here. Yeah, and they're already finding entry. Ooh, confidence, frag. but the confidence of NIP just keeps on building, giving them more and more oh. before his block is knocked off. If he's not careful, finds the flick shot, at least to try and deny Julio. Ending this round, switches out to the pistol, but not enough prowess to shut down Pino. He'll fall to the ground and NIP get a seventh. NIP just absolutely raining kills in there. Moosey was... And there was only Guy, Panico and Free are remaining. Scratch that as Panico. Yeah, he probably had a... As you would expect them to be. And now Moosey comes in. He shuts down this one. And that is just absolutely rapid fashion win there. 7-1 against W7M. It wasn't even competitive on Oregon. You've just had two maps played in probably like an hour and 20 minutes. And for, for that to be the case... And one of them had 12 rounds. Uh, yeah, exactly. Think right? about that. It, it's Hello, guys. Uh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty happy. I hope so, man. I hope so. Um, let's get into the first map of Cafe then. Coming into it, from my perspective, Julio, it, it looked like they were giving you far too much respect, especially in those opening couple of rounds. It just seemed like you were able to, to run away with the game. Did it feel that way? Yeah, yeah. They are a team who play really aggressive and they... I think I agree with you. They were not that aggressive on the first rounds, and that was good for us to get some rounds and get confidence. Um, we noticed as well throughout, Julio, obviously the entry battle went massively in your favour. I think W7M only had one opening kill. They didn't seem to be picking up the trades either. Was that... You, you seem to... NIP were aggressing on and then just sort of dropping back after that opening kill, and was that protecting your guys a little bit? Yeah, it depends on the bomb site on the on the map. We get the open queue and play passive, and then we play aggressive again or passive on the rounds. It depends on the bomb site, but cafe if you get open queue, it's really good, you know, for defense. So it's it's easier. And now at this point as well, Julio, NIP into this season, you, you've kind of beaten all of the big teams, all of the big organizations that we'd be sort of speculating about you potentially dropping points. Do you feel like at this point you're in a really good shot to to have a high seeding going into the major and really make a good run out of the last couple of games you've got this stage? Yeah, of course. We wanna get uh we wanna uh, go to the major really strong, you know, we win all the matches remaining and get for first place and I think that's it. We, ha we have a higher, uh, high win streak too, so we hmm. want to maintain that. And yeah, we, we're gonna, we want to win all the matches uh, before the major to, to get there pretty strong. There's obviously the opportunity as well for another title towards the end of the year. You're going very well in the combined standings. Can you win it all, Julio? The major, the Brazilian league title, the whole works. Yeah, for sure. We are pretty confident. We are playing good. We are. We are pretty focused and we expect to win the next major, next uh, Brasileirão, of course.
All right, man. Well, that's the way it's going. Um, before we let you go, though, Julio, again, as per usual, man, the support for NIP is always crazy every time we have a matchup with you guys, if it's on the Brazilian stream or here with the English coverage. Is there anything you want to say to all of the fans that came out and support tonight? Yeah, for sure. Uh, thank you, everyone, uh, for the support. We are doing a lot of giveaways on the NIP Charm, everything, on NIP Kit, on Twitter, Instagram. So check us out. And that's it. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Cheers, brother. Enjoy the rest of your evening, mate. Well played tonight. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Juliet.